Hi everyone and welcome to my video. In this video I will show you how to make your WordPress website multilingual with Polylang plugin. Here are the different steps that are, we are going to perform in this video. Notice that my website is now in one language only. Here are the different pages, only in English. Step 1. Install the Polylang WordPress plugin. Log in to your WordPress site dashboard as admin. Go to Plugins and click Add New. Type Polylang in the box near Keyword. Click Install now and click Activate near to Polylang. Step 2. Add the main language. In the Plugins page, click Settings below Polylang. Notice there are no default languages yet. We will add the English language first. Click on Choose Language and select English, English Canadian. We're in Canada. Click Add New Language. Step 3. Add the second language. Repeat the same steps, but choose this time Francais, French Canadian. Step 4 Create or assign pages to each language. To assign existing pages, do the following. I already created pages for each language. They are not assigned yet to any language. We will start by assigning the home page to English. Click Edit Home, choose English, and then click Update. Notice that Home is now assigned to English. Accueil is a translation of Home. We need to link it to Home and assign it to French. Edit Accueil, assign it to French, and click Update. This will save the page and assign it to French. Now we should link Home and Accueil so to indicate to WordPress that one is the translation of the other. Edit Home and start typing Accueil in the box next to the French language flag. Accueil will appear in the drop-down list. Choose it and click Update. Home is now linked to Accueil. Now do the same to all other pages. Select all English pages and bulk edit them. This way you can assign the English language to them at once. Then Edit each French page and link it to its corresponding English page. In this example, we are doing no réalisation. Make sure the correct language is selected for the page before linking it. So we link no réalisation to our creations. And then click on update to update the page. Now, to create a new page in both languages, do the following. Under Pages, click Add New to first create the English page. Design your page as you want and click on Publish. Once the page published, 
we can create the French one. To create its French translation, click the plus sign directly from within the English page. Name the page as you want and design it as you want. And then click on publish. This page will be the translation of the other page. Notice that they are linked together now. Step 5. We need now to create menus for each language. Click Menus under Appearance. First, make sure Language Switcher is selected under Screen Options. We will use it later. I already had English menus created, so now I will now create French menus. To do this, click on Create New Menu. Type the name of the French menu you want. In this case, I type Principal for Main. Then click on Create Menu. Assign the menu to the required location. Click on Manage Locations. PolyLang will duplicate locations per language. Choose the location and click Save Changes. Be consistent with the locations. If Principal is the equivalent of Main, make them both primary in their corresponding language. Now assign the French pages to the Principal menu. Select each French page. And click Add to Menu. Click Save Menu. For this video, I added the English test page so it shows when switching languages. Add other menus as required. This depends greatly on your WordPress theme. Step 6. Create a menu to switch languages. Click Create a new menu. Type Language Switcher for the English menu. You can type it the name you want, but here I, I uh, chose English Language Switcher. Click Create Menu. Now add the Language Switcher command to the menu. Choose Language Switcher and click Add to Menu. Customize it as wanted and click Save Menu. Create the French language switcher menu as you did the English one. Name it something significant. In this case, I named it Selecteur de Langue. We could have used the same menu for both languages, but I like to keep them separate for modularity purposes. Now assign each menu to its location. This depends on your theme. In Divi, I chose the secondary location, which is on the upper right corner of the, of the screen. In case your theme doesn't have multiple menu locations, assign the language to the main menu. I will refresh the page now and you will see the language menu appearing on the top right corner. Here it is. Francais. 
with the Quebec flag. And here are the test pages that will change when switching languages. Here we're in English. If I click on France, Francais, it will switch to the equivalent translated page and so on. Switching languages will automatically switch to the corresponding page. Here I have it in French, Accueil for the home page. And if I click on English, it will switch to home and the language will switch also. That's it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel.